Ellie and I are going to talk about our favorite kinds of shampoo and conditioner. Um, today is bath day, so you can tell Ellie needs a bath pretty bad. You know, she's a little dirty in the face. Um, so typically, before I give the dog a bath, I will brush them to make sure there aren't any knots, which is important um, because the bath will set the knots in. So what I like to use um, is this shampoo. The, it's a BOV shampoo by Crown Royale. And I like it because I get a natural appearance to the dog. Um, it doesn't make them super puppy fluffy, which I think is great. They smell nice. Um, it's very herbal. It's herbal scented. And I think that I had purchased every shampoo available on the market when I first brought Ellie home. So after a lot of trial and error, it was definitely a good decision. I could probably go close to a week with her um, and she still looks like she just had a fresh bath. It minimizes the static and we love it. So I buy it in the gallon, the gallon size. They run about 50 or $60 a piece. And I usually order it from Cherry Brook or Amazon. And this is a formula too. Um, pretty much on the, you know, if you go onto their website, they suggest using a formula one for Shih Tzu. Um, but pretty much all their formula system means, it just adds different levels of body. So you get relatively no body to the coat um, with a Formula 1. Um, I get a medium level of body, and that's why I like the Formula 2. Sometimes I buy a Formula 3, and you get a lot of body. I like a more natural look on the dog. So I also use the Condition Plus Coat Conditioner by Crown Royale. Um, you need to dilute them. You can't just put the shampoo straight on the dog. And they, it makes a lot of suds. So what I like to do is I don't necessarily follow the directions on the bottle. The directions on the bottle are suggesting with the shampoo, one part water to four part shampoo. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I found that it takes a half hour alone to wash the soap out of the dog that way, and they're not show dogs. So, um, and I bathe frequently. I don't want to overwash the coat, so I do something different. The conditioner is a little bit better. It's calling for 20 to 40 parts water with one part shampoo, um, and I still significantly dilute this. So what I like to do is, because the gallon size is very messy, I bought squirt bottles for like mustard and ketchup at the supermarket. I think they were a dollar a piece. And I just transfer the shampoo and the conditioner into the squirt bottles for easy use prior to giving them a bath. And I refill them as needed. Um, and when I'm ready to give her a bath, I fill another empty squirt bottle most of the way up with water. And I usually, just for a few seconds, squirt some of the shampoo in. Um, it does stick to your bottle, so shaking it, and it makes a lot of suds, so shaking it isn't effective. You essentially have to just roll the water around in there um, <clears throat> and I judge by the color. Um, like that's a little light for me. And when I give her a bath, um, I'll film that and I'll show you how I apply the shampoo. 
So I might just put a little bit more in. Oops, sorry, Miss Ellie. <laughs> you gotta hold the end, you know, and shake it up. So that's good for me. You know, I like a nice light green color. I judge how much shampoo that's in there by the color. You know, and I'll do the same thing with the conditioner. The conditioner is really heavy um, and it will weigh the dog down. So if you like a little bit more conditioner on the dog, um, I guess for like show people, it's an alternative to oiling the coat to maintain the coat. So I generally condition lightly, which I just put a little bit in my squirt bottle and shake it up really good. Um, and again, I judge how much I have in there by how cloudy the water gets. And there's just a little cloudiness in there. So we are good to go. Um, a couple of other, a couple of other options that I find work really well is um, some of the Chris Christensen shampoos like the Spectrum 10, I really liked. I got a great result on the dog. Um, however, I found that I went through it very fast and I had to repurchase and ultimately I think it was a financial decision um, because the Crown Royale, I've had that gallon now for three years and I'm maybe halfway through it. Um, <clears throat> Coat Handler, Coat Handler also makes a very nice shampoo and conditioner that in the beginning when I was just learning, I thought was awesome because the dogs, they look like big cotton balls. They were so fluffy. Um, I did notice that there was some static issues. I wasn't crazy about the smell and I'm big on smell. Everything that I purchase, you know, has to smell nice to me. I have allergies, so, you know, we go easy on the smell. So, oh, Groomers Pro has a gigantic line of shampoos and conditioners. However, the dog looked nice, but I think that the issue for me was none of the scents matched. Like, for example, maybe the shampoo smells like cherry and the matching conditioner smells like almond. And, <laughs> you know, being that I'm picky about smell, that really didn't work out for me. So I'm going to go and put um, Miss Ellie in the bathtub and I'll upload a video that shows how I give her a bubble bath. Thank you for watching.